Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The purchase and pricing email question line for watches like this that you see here on Watchbox Reviews. Email me to buy this watch at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today, we're discussing the FP Journe Sontograph Souverain Black Label. 40 millimeters in platinum. This is a timepiece that is both a boutique and a spas exclusive and reserved for those who have previously purchased new FP Journe timepieces pieces. The Black Label series was launched in 2008 and it is F.P. Journe's most exclusive. The timepiece, 40 millimeters in platinum, is nice and trim in profile. You can see the watch is slimmer than you might imagine as it measures only approximately 10.5 millimeters thick and lug to lug 48 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. You'll also appreciate the fact that the hardware and software is up to snuff as this watch has been fit with a absolute top of the line ravish red ABP double alligator leather strap. You can see the ABP maker's mark and the watch gator, small scale on the bottom, large rectangular scale on the top, more expensive than a standard strap but also longer lasting with a matching platinum pin buckle. You can even see the double hall marking as this is one of the previous Eleanor cases and buckles. We'll talk about what that means in a moment. Let's put the watch on the wrist and get a sense of how it fits and feels. 40 millimeters in diameter by 10 and a half millimeters thick by 48 millimeters lug to lug. You can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it wears easily, comfortably. The shape of the lugs is significant as it wraps straight down around the edge of a wrist. And you can see I have plenty of clearance on both sides. So wear with comfort on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeter circumference. Rest assured, it'll look like, it'll, it'll look right, it'll fit right. And see how it easily ducks underneath the cuff with a domed bezel profile. Now the timepiece is impressively engineered and styled. F.P. Journe admits that when he designs a watch, he starts with the dial because if it doesn't look emotionally gripping, why bother? You can see the watch features the classical Journe case with a blended lug profile, a lovely compound curve as they arc out and down in a teardrop profile, all of high polish. You can see there's a little bit of an overlapping lip to the case back, as well as the bezel defining the mid case, the domed bezel profile, giving way to the dial. Note the rocker, for activating the chronograph, it has mono pusher elegance, but with twin pusher versatility as you can start and stop the chronograph. That's one of two patents in the watch. The dial features a black dial on a platinum case, and that is significant because that signifies this as a black label watch. That is an exclusive combination. You can see black polished steel bezel for the three chronograph registers with black polished screws to match, and you can see monotone hands likewise in polished steel to blend in and avoid obscuring the registers. You can see that the registers themselves feature a 1 100th of a second foutrillant, a 20 second register, and a 10 minute register. The better to gauge the speed of objects moving between 36,000 kilometers per hour and six. Now the timepiece of course allows you to gauge 1 100th of a second, that is the resolution, hence the name Santagraph. Now you can also appreciate the fact that the reset is a wonderful piece of theater in its own right. To wind this watch, remember, pull it out to the first stop and then turn. That's always a bit of a hang up for first time Santagraph owners. Now, I mentioned that there is a double hallmark on the case and the buckle. And that's because this is one of the earlier Eleanor cases. Eleanor, outside of Paris, was F.P. Journe's original case supplier back to his pocket watch days when he was making pocket watches and continued right up until 2008 to make cases for Journe. As a result, you have the Eleanor Maker's Mark as well as both French and Swiss precious metal hallmarks on the case. Eleanor eventually bought up by F.P. Journe, moved to Geneva to become Boitier de Genève, his case factory. You also appreciate the fact that a platinum watch with a rose gold movement is something special, and indeed it is caliber 1506 manual wind 80 hour power reserve chronograph off 24 hour power reserve chronograph on 50 joules six position adjustment you can see that it features a free sprung architecture and the free sprung architecture giving the watch greater shock resistance and moreover as it's adjusted with a free sprung balance architecture, shock and disruptions cannot change the timing of the watch. Now you'll note that the balance is immense, that's another feature to avoid shock and bump induced timing disruption by having a large 
polar moment, it effectively resists those disruptions and displacements on the wrist. Uh, another patent in this movement, as you can see, there's a barrel at center, and that is both symbolic and mechanically significant. The chronograph registers drive off the arbor, effectively the axle of the barrel, and the edge of the barrel, the toothed edge of the barrel, drives the time displays, the result being that when the chronograph is activated, it draws more power, but it does not diminish the amplitude. That's a direct result of the patented system that allows the chronograph to run off the arbor. This is an important evolution, as almost every other chronograph, save perhaps the JLC Duomet, will lose amplitude and thus lose time with the chronograph engaged. The bridges are 18 karat rose gold, making this a heavy watch. So are the plates, 18 karat rose gold. Circular Cote de Genève, satin finishing on the wheels and the barrel. You can see there are mirror polished, black polished screws, mirrored anglage or chamfer on the edge of the bridges. And then there's an engine turned perlage on the base plate. And you can see a black polished lever and escape wheel. Technologically significant, launched in 2007, the launch won the GPHG Aiguille d'Or in 2008, the grand prize, effectively the best picture of watchmaking. 30 meters water resistant, it's a sporty watch, not a true through and through sports watch. But email tmaso at thewatchbox.com to buy this watch, which is not on our website.